I want to say hello. Before I even get started with all that, I got to send a few shout outs to, to, to a few ladies, okay? It's very, very important. Um, my girl, Yolanda Edwards, she's doing some big things here, here in GA, too, as a matter of fact. Not too far away from me, my homegirl. Um, she goes by the name of Miss Hook. Uh, I chop it with her. Um, also, I got to send a special shout out to WNY Fisher Girl. All right, you may need to drop the if you feel like it. I did see one of your your reports where you were thinking about drop, dropping because we don't have too many Fisher girls on 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 the internet anyway. So, um, but I I keep an eye on you. I watch what you're doing. I'm happy that you're doing big things over there up there in New York. I know y'all got a blast of cold weather that's coming through. You know how I feel about that about that cold weather. Also, I got to send another shout out to my girl that's in Louisiana, Tina Smith. Um, I enjoy chopping up with all the ladies all the time, um, and for my, my, my fellas, uh, Old Town T, I got to holler at him. Listen, I also got to real spend a, a get well to, uh, pardon me on the last name, his name is John uh, Megalorisi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he's off his feet right now, brother. I want to let you know that I'm, I'm keeping everything 100 until you get back. So I'm counting on you, man, to get it back up on your feet, literally, so you can get back out there. I'm, I'm waiting for some pics to come through from you, all right? I'm very, very excited about that. Cozy Comic, got to say hello to him. Hybrid Chaser, got to always, always shout out to him. I see you out there, man, when you're fishing for them, fish with them shoulders. And also, I got to spend a real shout out to my man. Let me see if I get to Jimmy Ashbury, got to holler at him. Um, I always chop it with him on the internet. All my subscribers, all my viewers, those are the ones that kind of stand out to me just a little bit. Um, but back to what we were talking about. We got to get ready for Crappy Madness. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to pan down so you can see a little bit of the stuff that I'm using. Okay? Uh, what I have been purchasing, what I have been getting. I try to turn the names over so you guys won't, you know, I don't want to promote you know any particular brand but if you see it you know it uh, the, this segment here is going to be real quick I'm going to jam a lot of information in on it so I want you guys to really buckle down and pay cl close attention it's again everybody out there y'all know I'm not the smartest guy uh, out there but I kind of repetition is the key to learning so I try to watch it if you miss something rewind it go back again I just dated myself when I said rewind anyway I'm gonna set you down and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the hooks that I'm using uh, what type of jigs because for the next 60 90 days I'm, I'm switching to jigs okay and after that the other eight nine months I'm rolling with minnows I'm gonna show you those type of hooks as well so I'm gonna have to go a little bit fast because I'm gonna make, make make this brief for you guys but I'm excited to see you guys I want you to get out there and make sure you catch some crappie so I'm gonna turn you down here I'm gonna put you down so I can show you exactly what I'm, what I'm using all right hold on okay let's see here Make sure I, you guys got a good angle there. All right, let me let me cover the hooks first. This year, I'm going with the new style hook. What I've been using, which this one is the eighth ounce. You can see the hook. You see how the hook looks. I switched from these hooks to the sickle hooks now. Okay, because you have to remember the size crappie that I'm catching. I'm catching 11, 12, 13, 14 inch crappie. So I had to raise my hook up a little bit. All right. So I left that style of a hook, and I went to the sickle hook. Let me see if you guys can see the sickle hook. Matter of fact, I'm going to put both of them on here so you can see, get a good look at both of them. So you can see the difference. Okay? See the sickle hook? You see how the regular hook looks? That sickle hook has a gap behind it, so it ensures a good hook set. Uh-oh. Versus the regular one. If you guys have been fishing, you know when you're reeling, reeling your jig in, and I'll be throwing casting mine on the beds up in the shallows for the spring. Okay, so I'll be throwing and retrieving. And you feel those bumps on there. That's the crappie. They bump it, they, they swallow, spit it out real quick. I want to make sure that I'm, because crappie's mouths are a little bit larger than your shell crackers and brim, I want to make sure that I get a large enough hook to make sure that I get a good hook set involved. Okay, um, hold on real quick. I think River's coming in. Let me, let, let me close the door. <laughs> Back in, River. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so, just about all the time, the, 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 the size weight that I use on my jig head, I go with the 16th ounce. Okay, 1 and 16. And also, you can see this particular one here has a weed guard on it. Alright, you see that weed guard? Where this one here doesn't. 
I like the weed guard, okay? Because I know I'll be throwing up near the bank near those near those those you know the brush piles and and the sticks and the limbs. So I like that. You know, seven out of ten times I may not get hung versus this one right here, which probably. 10 out of 10, I'm going to get hung when I get up there in, in that brush pile. You can see I have different color heads too. For some reason or another, for me, I don't know why, I've gone to the non-painted head. I like it. Okay, so I can match that with any size jig that I decide to use. Also, I have the sickle hook in a hot pink too. Okay, and also I want you guys to remember this. Let me take you off and pull, pull you back up for a second. I want you guys to remember this. What I use on my body of water may or may not color wise may not work on your body order it may be a different but what I'm trying to do is just to give you the basics so you have them and because everybody every body of water is different and also geographically I may be in, the, in I'm in the southeast you may be in Cali you may be in Michigan you may be in Ohio so I'm going to give you the basics what style hook what type of colors I'm using and then you get the basics and then you stir in your game what you do moving forward okay so Real quick, I'm going back to jigs because it's springtime. We're, we're getting ready for crappy madness. And come spring, all during the winter, the females have been developing those eggs. Now they're getting ready to mate and they're getting ready to lay those eggs. Okay, the females will come in first and they're going to lay those eggs. And then the male's job, he's going to have their tuxedos on. That's why you catch those black crappie. And they look dark black because they put their war paint on. So anything that comes near that nest, they're going to yank it up. Okay, I always try to let the females go if I know I have eggs. I let those go for the next year. Always want to make sure for the kids that you have a replenish of, of crappie moving forward. All right, so let me put you back down. Let's put you back down. All right, so I have the pink and green. Pink and green. I'm going to be using that one as well. Now, one of, there are three of my favorites that I like to use. I love using the tricolors. Let me see if I can show them to you. These are swim jigs. Okay, you see that curly tail? So when it moves through the water, it agitates like that. Okay, this is a tricolor. This is the black and light blue with a green tail. I don't know if you guys can see that. And when I'm vertical jigging, which I will be doing, I go with this type of jig with the flare tail. Okay, so you can see it moving right now with just barely little movement. Okay, that tail just, when I'm vertical jigging, that tail moves just like that. Okay, I'll pair this with this type of jig head here, and when I'm vertical jig, and I move it up and down just like that. Again, this is a swim jig. All right, so when I'm pulling this through the water, that tail looks like a propeller. It draws attention. So, two years ago, they were hitting the, the this color tri jig. Last year, they switched, and they wanted the black with the chartreuse tail and silver. All right, so I got all three colors. And also last year they were hitting the red, black, and the chartreuse tail. Again, these, all three of these are swim jigs, all right? So this is what I'm going to start out with. Um, and again, for vertical jigging, I'm using this, this one right here. I have different colors in it, but that's what I'm going to be using for vertical jigging. So I will be doing that as well. Now, a rule of thumb to remember. Um... In the winter, crappy go deep. In the fall, they come up to the secondary points, your six, eight feet range. In the spring, they're all the way up in the shallows. Anywhere that you find a rock bed, anywhere that you find brush pile, anywhere that you find branches, that's where they're going to be located. So, guys, like I said before, get ready because crappy, crappy madness is, is coming. Some of you cats already have, they already have it. You got to have your crappy bites. Okay, got to have your crappy bites. And here I have practically unbreakable uh, bobbers. Sometimes I drag this, I put the bobber on, and I drag my jig behind it, okay? So it puts it high up in that water column. Um, I'm excited about Crappy Madness getting ready to come right now. Um, I've been getting everything ready for the last two, three weeks, and I wanted to shoot this quick video uh, just so you guys would know exactly what I'm doing. Here are some more. Uh, sickle hooks that uh, I've switched to. I'm no longer using the regular style hooks like these. I've switched all the way to the sickle hooks. Guys, you want to make sure that you have the sickle hooks. And by the way, I, I don't generally do, let me pull this down, I don't generally do advertising 
uh, for big box stores. But let me tell you what's going on right now. Crappy Madness at Bass Pro Shop. They may have it at Cabela's as well. Um, guys, a, a pack of these would generally run me about $3.99. But right now, I bought these right here for $2.50. I even bought some for $1.97. So you want to make sure you get on there, log on, man, and, and order. I ordered these off, off the Internet. So anybody can go ahead. You can get the colors that you want, and you can go ahead and pick all the stuff up that you want, that you need. So you got to get ready. Excuse me. you got to get ready. I got my coffee back there. I've been drinking my coffee. Also, one thing I want to cover as well. Um, I've had a few people to ask me what size hooks that I'm using for my minnows come after spring come summer early summer I'm going back to minnows okay now you gotta remember I catch 13 14 inch crappie here so I had to switch to a one out hook that's one slash zero and I go with the uh, cam action hooks which I'm gonna show them to you a matter of fact I'm gonna put you down so I can put it real close to the camera let's see here okay this right here is a cam action hook Okay, this is what I'm using. And also, they make this in a laser as well. If you don't like the gold, that's a cam action hook. You can see the shaft on it. Okay, some of you guys, to me, if you're old school, you know it says True Turns. Okay, but a lot of different name brands, that's the name brand, True Turn, but it's just cam action. So it torques towards pressure. And all of these, both of these hooks that I have right here are one on. They're the, they're the larger ones, okay? because I'm catching large crappie. You may want to go with a size two hook. You may go with a size three, four, but I had to go to the other spectrum and go back towards the, the one odd, the larger hook, because I'm catching big crappie. You have to know what your body or border, um, what you need, okay? So that's pretty much what I got here. Again, I want everybody to get ready because it's time to get out, out on the water. And Listen, you know me, I don't spend a lot of money, but we don't have any crappy in the freezer and we got to get ready because I got another fish fry coming up, some, some of my homeboys. I uh, got to send a real special shout out to, to Courtney, uh, my ex-brother-in-law, got to send another shout out to Terrell and Sterling. Uh, Massey's out there too, but listen, I love all you guys out there, so get ready. And to all the ladies out there, viewers, listen, come on aboard, subscribe. And if you have any questions about anything that I have, downstairs is all my videos, guys. So. Thanks a lot, and we'll be seeing you on the water. Tight lines.